The following content is for adult audiences. We're back to the continuation of the story from minutes ago. If you missed any, catch it on the Morning X podcast. This is the best of the Morning X with Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. 99X. Yeah, we're talking yeah, so. to Philip Bubel, who's 44, who uh, is married to his dog, mm-hmm. Lady. Do you and Lady go to movies? We'd love to. We we have a home theater here. Home theater. So you don't really get right. to go to restaurants and stuff. No, actually, well, up here there's no uh, uh, checkers. I give a plug for checkers. Oh, but yeah. I'm sure they appreciate that endorsement. Are checkers checkers uh, is a restaurant that treats us <laughs> yes. identically to any other couple. Well, so yeah, we seriously, though, checkers. in France, they are, they are <laughs> in France, I see people, I saw people all the time when I was on vacation with their... Oh, yeah, of course. Restaurants. Frank, Frank the, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the whole attitude is much more progressive over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's what you're talking more. about right now yeah. uh, with this kind of restriction here is a sore point with millions and millions of dog owners in the United States. That's, that's not just restricted to zoo. There are a lot of people pissed off about that. Okay. Well, I mean, I tell my European contacts that we can't even take, I can't even take Lady uh, or Duke into a pizza joint, and their chin Duke. hits the floor. They can't uh, believe we can't take dogs into no, a pizza joint. I'm telling place. you, discrimination. How, yeah. Duke. How do your friends react Duke? to this? I mean, seriously, how do your friends and family react to this? Well, family tried to kill me. That was the reason for all this publicity. Uh, yeah, what happened? Murder, but what uh, happened with friends, that? With friends and everyone else, uh, they, they deal with it very well. I, I mean, I've I've been in this area for uh-huh. twenty years. Well, sure, I bought this house in 1981. Pongo and I bought this in '81. What? Well, Pongo has an income. Pongo had an <laughs> income. <laughs> no, unfortunately, no. Okay, well, you who could is say Duke? He, you could say his uh, he was. Uh, uh, a homemaker. <laughs> no, but Pongo did Duke? bring home the bacon. Wait a minute, you said Lady and Duke. Who's Duke? Duke's German Shepherd. Duke is a big, intact male German Shepherd, eight foot pounds. Duke. He's here for rehab. He's not actually my dog. He's sponsored. Oh. He's sponsored, sponsored. by uh, a uh, friend down in New York who uh, taking care of his uh, vet bills and food bills and stuff so that he can be rehabbed here. He's he was in bad shape. So well, talk he, about when your dad tried to kill you. Well, uh, in September of 99, he uh, pretty much decided he could not deal with my sexual orientation. I, I am and have been out of the closet and very open and honest about my relationship with dogs since 1994. So, y- And uh, he could not deal with that. He uh, made the classic mistake of blaming himself for his son's sexual orientation, and uh, the crowbar attack was his final solution. Right. It came out in the attack itself while he was so murderous. And the dog saved you, correct? Yes. Oh, absolutely. He would have slaughtered me while I slept, because I don't lock the bedroom door. Uh, the only time the bedroom door is ever closed was when Lady and I was making love. So at night, the bedroom door was always open, which also gave Lady a chance to get food and water when she wanted. Well, Lady, Lady was with me all that night and kept him from slaughtering me while I slept. She slept with me all that night. Can Lady say hi to us? Uh, ladies, <laughs> Lady does not make sounds. She, she hardly ever even barks. She's just not a barking dog or... or not other a barker. Duke, Duke, however, will sing for you. I'll tell I you what, Duke though. Yeah, 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 Can please. we hear Duke? Uh, well, let Duke sing. I, okay. I, don't, I don't know if I want to ask how you make Duke sing. But. Oh, I just have to howl when he howls with Okay, me. let's right, hear let's it. Hear Duke. Okay, hang on one sec. You'll hear me howling first, and then yes. he'll join in. I understand, sir. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! Bubel, who is married to his dog lady. I, now I'm trying. Duke, I'm, I must have missed something. Duke is who again? Staying over rehabbing. Sponsored. Yes, Duke, though. He's Duke a friend. is a intact male German Shepherd, about eighty plus pounds. You've never had sex with Duke? Oh no, no. We are we are active. He's my partner too. Oh, he is your partner. Yes. I just don't consider him my spouse. Now, like I said, he he, he technically belongs to someone else. Right. Now, I thought so. Duke, Duke or and lady, lady. They're both. Oh, I thought Duke was just in rehab. Well, yeah, he's yeah, being he's, rehabbed. He is set, but he's also he's also sexually active. Oh. With now, me. now, why are you going through therapy? Yeah, I mean, everything post, seems, well, right everything, now I'm in therapy for seems... the attack for post traumatic stress disorder. And lady and I attend the therapist as a couple. Oh, oh wait a minute. Okay, so let me. So you're going through therapy because of the attack. Uh, your father attacking you with a crowbar, not therapy oh. for your zoology. N- your yes, zoology. that is absolutely correct. They, uh, of course, right. when I tried to kill myself uh, after Pongo died, I went through therapy for that. And, and nowadays, uh, therapists yeah. really don't worry about that. As long, Norman as clear, Rockwell. So, as long as it's clear to them that no harm is being can, done to any consensual adult partner, right. they don't worry about it. Can you explain what a therapy session with Lady is like with you and the therapist and the... I mean, and Lady, I mean... What is that like? What do you? Uh, well, we we try to concentrate on hate issues. 
because uh, because the attack has left me in a flashback, particularly the flashback, which was awful. Flashback happened about a year ago. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the flashback had left me ex- with extreme hate issues regarding my father, and that's at that, that time I, I sought out a, a counselor who would counsel both Lady and myself as a couple, because Lady likes to get out. And she has a great time there, and she mingles with the... Uh, the patrons there in the waiting room puts a smile on everybody's face, yeah. and and it's really a very friendly thing. She she really does she really does make everybody feel better. And then when we go in in for the session, uh, there there actually is a couch. <laughs> there is a couch. And she hops up there with me and gets caress, caresses and scritches, and then we talk about you know trying to break the cycle of hate. And isn't that ironic? Because in most most households, the dog's not allowed on the couch. And here the dog's encouraged to be on the couch. And I don't mean to hound you about this, but... Um, <laughs> well, you go right ahead. You can play the dog anytime you want. Okay, but, you know, I, I'm going to tell you we're getting some phone calls. Oh, uh, I bet you are. Oddly <laughs> enough, we're getting phone calls right now. I can't see why. He sounds perfectly normal. And, uh, and I, I don't understand why people uh, have a problem with what you're saying here, but there are people on the, air, on the phone right now who are saying things like, Oh, you're sick. Oh, you're a freak. Oh, right, you're disgusting. Right. I right. know you've heard those kind of erroneous charges before. And yeah. what's your answer to that? The knowledge. The, the psychiatric community, the professional psychiatric community, has, has known about this and, and also homosexuality. And years ago, homosexuality was declassified as a mental illness. That happened actually in their book, in their big book that they used uh, back in the late 60s. Uh, zoos are basically out of their book right now, and certainly will be totally out of their book when the next when it's next published. They know what's going on. Zoos know what's going on. Uh-huh. People who know us, our, our friends and neighbors in the community, know what's going on. For those people who do not, it's just a question of getting online and getting the knowledge it's to learn of, about us, to learn about yeah. our history. Education. We have a beautiful education. history uh, and traditions. It's education. Education. Okay. Same thing as with homosexuality too. All right, Philip, uh, you did have a ceremony, right, when you married Lady? No, not yet. The oh. the uh, uh, this plan though. You are going to have a ceremony. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, she won't be wearing white. I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, that hasn't been decided yet. The one one of the uh, one of the uh, approaches we might take is to uh, both go in our birthday suits, uh, both perhaps wearing collars. <laughs> right. Well, that's nice, and you both be well groomed and bathed. Yeah. And... Yeah. <laughs> All right, Philip. Well, well, thank that's very you, nice. They, they could uh, th- they could register at PetSmart. They could yeah. register. Oh, lady loves lady loves to go to PetSmart. Well, and up in Bangor, there's a place called uh, Pet Quarters, and she's welcome. Right, she's welcome everywhere. Well, I know that people are calling you right and left, wanting to do interviews. So, uh, and, and you don't have a lot of time, so we appreciate you throwing thank us you very a bone. Much. We appreciate well, you throwing welcome. us a bone. Bye bye. All right, Philip. Uh, right, thank you very much. That Philip is Philip Bugle. Bugle, who is Bugle. married. Huh? Mar- Bubel. Bubel. He's married Bubel, to his dog. He is married to his well, dog. Now, people wait, are calling up. Married to his dog, Lady, and sleeping with his friend, Duke. Yeah, I, I'm not. not that right. threesome thing is just not right. It's not enough that he's married to his dog. He's cheating on his dog he's cheating. as well. So there's a man he's who... He's a Mormon zoologist. Oh, he's or a Mormon? Mormon? I didn't catch I, that. I'm kidding, because he has oh, more than he's one. Mar- yeah. Oh, polygamist. Uh, okay. So, uh, folks, uh, now how... I, I, I'm sorry. I could not be offended by that because it was so over the top. It was ridiculous. I mean, how ridiculous. The guy's married to his dog. <laughs> I mean, <come> that was, <laughs> he believes but he's married to his dog. That is the kind of thing you only find on the new news. Monster.